y'all. Today I'm doing a collab with Hot Mess Mom. She invited me to her Crocktober series. So we are both going to be sharing a crock pot recipe. So be sure to hop on over to her channel after you watch this video to see what she whipped up. I will have her channel linked in the description box. I absolutely love her channel. She has such a great personality. She does what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, and so many other things. If you like my channel, you are definitely going to like her channel. So go and show her some love and let her know that I sent you. Um, today is actually my daughter's fourth birthday party. So I'm making a buffalo chicken dip which is my all-time favorite food so I'm so excited to be sharing this recipe with you all so I ordered pizza for the kids and for the adults we're gonna have the buffalo chicken dip since it is a little on the spicy side but um, I'm gonna flip this camera around and I'm gonna show you the ingredients and how I make it so this recipe is so easy it has very few ingredients so you just need a rotisserie chicken and you take off the skin and remove the meat from the bones and then you will need some ranch and you can either use hot sauce or buffalo sauce i usually use buffalo because that's usually what i always have on hand and then some sharp cheddar cheese and two blocks of cream cheese Okay, so first off, you're going to want to set your crock pot to high. This is going to help kind of melt down the cheeses when you are trying to stir it in a little bit. You just add in both blocks of cream cheese, and you could set these out at room temperature to help with the stirring. And next, I'm adding in that whole rotisserie chicken that I have shredded up. And then I pour in one cup of ranch. Some people use blue cheese, but we don't really care for blue cheese, so I use the ranch. And then you are going to need two cups of cheese. So you can shred your own if you want, but for time's sake, I just use the bag and we prefer the sharp flavor. So next, you're just going to want to stir all of that together. And this part is kind of a pain, but it doesn't have to be perfect because when it is done, it's all going to be melted together. And when you give it that final stir, it's all going to come together perfectly. So the last step is to add in the buffalo sauce. I always add in different amounts depending on what I'm bringing this to. But since I didn't want this to be too spicy for the guests at Riley's party, I just added in less than half of a cup and it seemed to be the perfect amount. This wasn't too spicy at all. So I just gave that a final stir and then I popped my lid on and I cooked this for one one hour and then I just flip it on over to warm for the rest of the night and you guys are going to have to forgive me because I failed to get a picture of when it was done and I almost forgot to get a clip of when it was done it was already half gone by the time I got this clip and um but anyways I serve it with chips and this is seriously a favorite everyone always loves it I hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching 